Bonjour, my welcome, um, welcome. Yes, guitar loving friends. <laughs> Merry uh, Christmas. Absolutely. You keep saying Merry Christmas. Know, I'm know. very conscious of the fact that you know these videos are watched months after we shoot them. So yeah, a happy we summer, shoot them. Easter, Hanukkah, Diwali, and whatever other you know festival of joy is uh, coming round. Uh, Halloween. Uh, Halloween. <laughs> you go for it. Bonfire <laughs> so, night. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Fest alone, Just happy. Denmark. Happy Monday. Anyway. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It was a nice one. Craig David. See you later. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> subscribe. Um, yes, please do subscribe uh, to this channel. Bringing you the finest uh, guitar-based uh, yeah. gear reviews. Many people love us. <laughs> Not everybody. When I say many, um, three is many. Isn't it? It's a one, two, three is many. Three is a crowd. I would yeah. say two. Two is a crowd. Uh, right. This is a brand called Electronic Audio Experiments. Started in 2015 in Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, Boston is a beautiful place. I've, I've been never there. been. I played on a on the street, Main Street. There was a Main Street down. There was a thing, and there was people, and there was buildings, and we played. It's supposed to be very pretty in uh, autumn, or fall, as they call it over oh, there. When you drive up from New York up to that way to Boston, up, uh, I don't know if the coast or whatever, the, the, the orange colours. Home of the, the Red Sox. That is just is that right? some awful legs you got yeah, there. Sorry That's about pinned. that. Right, like come on. stalk is come jealous. Come on. Right, uh, so we have five pedals today. <laughs> They're all <laughs> overdrive pedals, because of course, oh, are they all the world pedal, needs like more overdrive. Well, they're all... I think they are, yeah. They're, I'm pretty sure there is a Revo pedal in the Electronic Audio Experiments yeah. range. They look but cool. We don't have that. They do look cool. Yeah. And like you know, Andersons, jacks. we're a sucker for pedals. Um, so let's give them a try. So we're going to start yeah. with uh, that ancient weapon uh, <laughs> of man. <laughs> of man. <laughs> Knights. Called the Longsword. Yeah. Two handed, double edged. I, th I thought a broadsword. Mm. Was there a broadsword as well? A broad I think that might have been even bigger. A but it was it's like a long a, yeah, sort. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right. So we have volume. Viking. Uh, let me see here. We have we have <laughs> we volume digress. overdrive, a three band EQ, and a separate boost, uh, and then some shifting switches and some some other switches. Drive. No, I don't even know what this switch does. We're going to find out though, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So let's turn it on. Yeah. So we got two amps on here. We got the DP40, and we, the, which is clean. We're running a, a hot cat, bad cat, hot cat, totally uh, which is a little that. bit more. Driven, and we got two guitars here, uh, some affordable stuff. What's the clean sound? Okay. Yeah, that's good. So more compressed down there, more yeah, saturated. That Sounds switch good. there is, is your, relatively common on overdrive pedals where, again, you, it's adjusting the uh, amount of uh, clipping and, and compression. Mm -hmm. So I think I've got it in its most sort of open and modern tone. And then obviously you've got some more sort of vintagey, more squishy kind of tones. Let's see what the <laughs> shifty does. I like this, this. You never know when you're like 12 years old, 11 years old, and you learn to play this. That when you are much older, you're still going to play the same yeah, riff. Yeah, great. It's, and it's, just, it's, the, it's the, just the ultimate, isn't it? Should we stay fat? Or let go. That's more for like a solo sound to cut through the, the you know the mix I would say. So you know. All right, we'll stay fat for the minute. Let's go. Uh, let's like just a fat try long some. Sword. Uh, yeah, let's go low drive. <laughs>
enjoy that. It's another... There are overdrive pedals that we sell that I really like. Yeah. There are overdrive pedals where I go, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And there's overdrive pedals where I don't like them. Yeah. And I'm going to just go, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, like, got, it's got it's, a different it's... kind of character. <laughs> like a fussiness in the low you know you can even hear That's that on sound. the low gain yeah, so yeah. I like that I do like this chord <laughs> I tell you what I do like is a, is a three band EQ and a on a <laughs> Yeah, uh, I have both of those things. Yeah, um, I do like I do like the three band EQ. Yeah, that's good. Because um, sometimes I feel with tone, you know, what do you do other than you, you you know you roll all the treble off or you take all the bass away and you're like no no no. So it's I got want, a bit of bass both. treble then. Yeah, it's got three right. band EQ. Yeah, uh, and then it has a secondary switch uh, boost. I don't know if it works independently. Let's find out. It doesn't sound like it. it. Doesn't that's work a shame independently. when it doesn't yeah, do that well, on pedals, I, isn't it? So it's a missed opportunity. Yeah, to have, yeah. Uh, so boost. That sounds good. Can we just hear it? Yeah, let's, pull? let's do it. I mean, this is... You know, I was going back to that kind of like, there's pedals I really like, pedals I don't mind. Th this is, I don't mind that at all. I think my potential criticism, not really a criticism, if you've already got three or four overdrive pedals, you need at like, least three more. <laughs> um, I don't know why, it, there's nothing different enough about that to make me go, yeah, I'll buy that as well. If I didn't have any overdrive pedals and I was going, I need to buy some overdrive pedals, yeah. it would be in the it, mix. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a good sounding, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good sounding pedal. Yeah. Here's a Les Paul. They didn't live in Boston. <laughs> Co copyright strike, no, mm. they didn't. Or maybe they did. It's fat. I like Nothing it. Nothing wrong with that. No. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> I can't now, believe I played that song. We've um, put we've, the long we've, sword away. We've, we've dropped the long sword. Yeah. I'm grabbing by the neck and dagger him yeah. in the, uh, in the it's side. It's too close quarters for a <laughs> yeah. long sword. That is the problem. Yeah. So you need to have a dagger. Uh, so yeah, dagger comes out mm, straight in. Uh, what was the name of the old Romans? Mick, Mick the dagger. Ro the Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Mick dagger. <laughs> Woo. Here's the dagger. Uh, we've now got volume drive, high and low, higher, lower, and a shift control in the middle. It's a good looking pedal, that one. Not yeah. that that's really important, but I like the look of it. A little dagger on it. Right, here we go. Okay. More. <laughs> Stop it. It's definitely a bit more fuzzy, isn't it? Yeah, like it is. It's actually quite clever, this shift thing. It's with with uh, not much gain, the shift down takes 
too much bass away for me and it becomes very thin sounding but actually as, but you, cut, as, you, wind thinner, the, but as you wind the gain up yeah. it takes that flubby bottom end out that you don't want i like it can we yeah sorry <laughs> please could we hear uh, with this please chandler um who, which one were you in Ooh. friends were you, were you, oh, were you Chandler, know. Ross, probably, or, probably Chandler, um, me. I'll probably be Chandler. Joey. I was Monica. Um, <laughs> right. No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> If you've broken your longsword and the person you need to stab is standing too far away from you to reach with your dagger, what you really need is a halberd. Uh, and a halberd. if you're not familiar with sort of medieval weaponry, a halberd was almost like a spear with an enormous metal pikey bit on the end. Really? Yes. So really long. So when they when they ran up and they were standing behind the things and they just had these launch... I think oh, they, they had, had the... like guards when they, they'd have like the crossed spears at the door. That would be That's like what, a halberd. Yes, but then yes. you'll have your shield. So they'll do that. The Romans did the shields where they did a whole square. Yeah. So they were side like that and then on top of it and they stuck those spears out. So and then he just walked yeah. forward and stabbed people. Yeah, that was why the, we Romans, about the that. Romans had those. I can't remember what they called those slightly shorter store, um, swords because, of course, it was a it was a stabbing store sword as opposed to a chopping sword. Yeah. that's a three hundred film, isn't it? Where they do that. Good film. They go Good in there that and they all yeah. above and beyond. That was the uh, Greeks, wasn't it? Versus the Romans, or was it just the Greeks versus Sparta. other Greeks? <laughs> was it? Tr yeah, something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. It's an amazing film. Okay! The second now, one isn't so good. Um, That's called 600, uh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's just more yeah, of And them. then 900 yeah. is the third one. Or did it go the other way? Anyway. Minus right. yeah, three. Okay. There was, three. That's all that was left. <laughs> left yeah. um, Halbert. It sounds like a fish as well. I said a turbot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is another overdrive. Pedal. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So we have post pre tone and depth here with a voice switch so let's uh, let's go It's just classic rock. It's classic, just classic, rock, classic rock. That's a good sound. I think this might be the first one that I might like to try over the bad cut. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the other yeah. two I think were a bit too gainy to sort of use yeah, into a gainy amp. We can always see what happens. Oh, that's fat. Go! Yeah. I like it. You know what? It's actually, um, I'm definitely, I'm going into battle with a dagger and a halberd. Um, <laughs> a now, <laughs> so once doing quicker, you uh, have battled, you know, broken you your long sword, really stab some with no? the dagger. No? No? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, 
you do it after. Okay. Word. Oh man. <laughs> I like it with the telly more, yeah, actually. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Anyway, you were talking, so, well, yeah, you were saying was, something about so going into battle. You know, you've, you've battled through, defeated the guy with the long sword, stabbed someone with your dagger, <laughs> got your halberd out and managed to poke someone standing a long way away from you. you. Anyway, you've got through to the castle, you've defeated the king that owns the castle, and now you're deciding whether or not you want to live there. What you need next is a surveyor. Because <laughs> um, he'll basically make sure that, you know, your castle hasn't got subsidence yeah, or any... Damp, damp mould. Yeah, all those uh, kinds of things. You know, the roof is not leaking. So, that yeah. So whilst it's are... not necessarily the kind of pedal that you need to go into battle with, it's still a really important it's pedal to it's have. It's a battle. In... That can be a battle <laughs> if you've got subsidence in your house. So what have we got? We've got level gain, with bass lawyers, and treble. There's a theme here, haven't insurance we? Insurance companies. <laughs> Uh, and a high and a low mode. So okay. we'll start low. That's interesting. Some low gain kind of. Different kind of uh, I, a gain structure from the turbot. The whole, uh, whole the <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like again. I'm kind of liking those pedals that are just giving me that classic breakup. Just a little bit. Tone. Just a little bit. Uh, How much gain try, is in it? Uh, let's try high. Hi hi. Oh, I didn't switch it on. Okay. More distortion type here. Oh, yeah, it does that. It's like. Uh, do they call that? Is that the Gipper? Battle. Is that the Gipper? It's definitely got that. All right, so. What is the uh, bass? How much is the the outer rims of the bass and the treble? So, what bass is in it? Actually, a bass pedal, because the bass uh, frequency that it's tuned to seem to be really low. So let's find out. Two very boring minutes later. Uh, no, it's not saying it's specifically for bass. I mean, you use it on whatever you like. It's trumpet. Uh, trumpet, yes, absolutely. Right, let's, um, maybe we will try it. Um, well, let's. It's what I it mean, is, it sounds it? good. It's I like, like it. one of those pedals you put it's on. Like... And... Oh, it's, it makes a big difference. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. It's like it's got that kind of old school. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got that old school kind of. It's it's a cool it's a cool and interesting kind let's, of sound. Uh, let's try it with the Gainier yes. amplifier.
like that. Uh, there's something about it I like. It's at that. I could see on, you know, pedal boards where they have a lot of pedals and they're just looking for that, like, how do I just get that little extra yeah, yeah, 1%, yeah. 2% here? Yeah, yeah, I, can, yeah, yeah. I can see that. The EQ is very calm. Uh, what are we doing? Just, just to put so it. Whoa. It's almost like breaking. Listen to that. It's, it's, it's got that velcro got a, yeah, kind of thing when I hit spit. it hard. Yeah, it's funny yeah. when I give it some welly. I do that. It's interesting where I've put the EQ as well. I wouldn't, you know, I've, I've backed both the bass and the treble off, but it still seems to be adding. Yeah, it's on the bass. Go again. Let's put it on again. Just try to. Yeah, hi, yeah. I'm gonna turn tone off. It's got, it's got that fussy bell. I like it. A lot, of, lot of, lot of tones in there. I've been trying my hardest all the way through here to think what's the story when we get to the model Fett. Uh, it's, the, it's, it's Boba Fett's it's brother, It's Boba isn't Fett's it? brother. That's the gag. Uh, Spelled with one T instead of two. It's not really any gag It's here, actually, it was his wife. She's very... <laughs> she was beautiful. Yeah, she was a hugely She's successful a uh, model. helmet model <laughs> back on uh, Tatooine. Uh, model Fett, that was her name. <laughs> it's a daughter. Um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know what this is. So, let's look it up. Okay, yeah. now, you know in the previous video, somebody came up with a pedal that had an Ampeg circuit in it. Yeah. Can't even remember which pedal that was now. It was it's like 17 videos ago. This one... <laughs> is um, a transistor-based preamp designed around the legendary Sun Model T amp. You remember Sun, oh, Sun? S-U-N-N? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, they, weren't they a like... a big fan over there. Yes, they were like proper dirty old valve amplifiers. That was one of those That's preamps. Old. This'll upset Oz. When I first started selling guitars and stuff like that, yeah. you couldn't, like the cheapest, cheapest yeah, second-hand yeah. amplifiers you'd ever have would yeah. be these old Sun yeah. valve amplifiers. Mm -hmm. Um, and now, like, everyone loves them. Anywho, so this is basically, uh, you know, fuzzy, distortion-y, la di da di da la di da di da thing. Uh, mm. It says here you can use it directly into a power amp, cab simulation, or DAW as well, if okay, you want so to. Okay, so like a preamp thingy. Yeah. You must do it with a surveyor as well. Um, Suf Air. I don't know. Right, S Suf Air. see she what works it down sounds at the, uh, like. Garage, doesn't she? Anyway. I like that. Kravitz, isn't it? That. I got to get it. I always thought that, that riff Lenny, sounded very like plug straight into the desk type riff. It was a very raspy, no, dry. This is, yeah, but... I mean, it could be a sun amp for all we know. 
could have been, couldn't it? Yeah. Didn't he play everything on that album? That first Probably. big breakthrough album for him, I'm sure he played everything Mr. on Mr. Cab Driver on that. On uh, that. What a legend. Right. And he looks so good. Man, was he like 57 years yeah, old? Yeah, he still yeah I think he's like 86. <laughs> You see pictures on Instagram him when he's um, like he's got like he's just smoking he's so it like ripped, cigarillos still, and isn't he? Yes. six pack. Wow! Put, put it into the uh, into the into the bad cat. cat. Back it down a smidge, maybe a bit back of extra brightness. Down. <laughs> no, I won't Bonk back, back down. down. Disappointed if this video doesn't get a like from Jennifer Aniston or <laughs> one of the one of she the She follows cast. me on Instagram, you know. I bet she does. Yep. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, the clean up. We're nearly done, everybody. You can yeah, yeah. Tea no, in a minute. No, no. Okay. We'll put some friends on. That's a good pedal. That's a good place to stop. So yeah. there we go. <laughs> Congratulations to uh, Electronic Audio Experiments. Good pedal. I would just say, you know, be yourself, right? Don't innovate. Don't innovate. Masturbate. Or <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> I mean, you can do that if you want. I just don't think you'll sell many pedals. Um, maybe, right. maybe you will. Maybe you will. That is the end of another. Is this Tales from the good Pedal end, Cabinet or is this uh, just an electronic? It's probably I just think an it's just an electronic audio. I think, it's a, I think it's the best way to end an, an evening. Yeah. And is to uh, there play, we are. Plug some pedals in. Absolutely. Right. Uh, like and subscribe. Please do like and subscribe. And yes, we shall see you in another video. Gosh, sooner than you think. Yeah, yeah. Sooner than you want. I forgot to plug my lapel in, by <laughs> oh, the way, did we? <laughs> you haven't really. Have no, I haven't. Thank no. goodness. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play friends.